Now let me continue with the story of England at that time. At that time, there was an introduction of threshing machines in the England countryside. Now what were the reasons of the introduction of the threshing machines? In fact, what happened is that the Napoleonic war started and this meant lots of people were required as soldiers in the battlefield which led to shortage of labor in the agricultural fields. So they had to look for a substitute. Well, there was another thing, the insolence of the laborers and their drinking habits actually made the landowners against them and again they were looking for a better alternative. Well, they thought that the machines would actually make them less dependent on the manpower, on the laborers. Therefore, there was an introduction of threshing machines in the countryside of England at that time. Well, what were the results of the Napoleonic Wars which were going on? At the end of the Napoleonic Wars, the soldiers returned back to their native villages. When they returned back to the villages, they again were looking for employment and employment in the fields itself. Then, at this time, there had set in the Great Depression that is, the European grain started flowing in England and there was a flood of food grains in the market of England. When this happened, the prices of the food grain declined. When the prices of the food grain declined, naturally the profits which were being made by the landowners also had a setback. When they had a setback in the prices or in the profits that they made, they reduced the area of their cultivation. When they reduced the area of the cultivation, naturally the manpower that was required also had a decline. And there was a decline in the, unemploy in the employment and also reduction in the wages because of the less profit that was being made by the landowners. So there was sudden change in the market and in the agricultural sector of England. They'd been making huge profits, they'd been enclosing lands and suddenly reduction in profit and also reduction in the cultivated land. Well, the modern agriculture had a very big effect on the people and some of the effects were that the open fields disappeared in the in England which meant that the poor now had no place to graze their cattle collect firewood and also do some fishing or hunt small animals well the rich made huge profits because they cultivated big lands and made big profits when the prices skyrocketed. At this time, we also see that there was a lot of migration of the people towards the southern countries where employment was available. Well, the poor of course had a poor time. Their incomes had become unstable and also their jobs had become insecure. So the coming of the modern agriculture in England had a very rosy picture for the big landowners and a very grim side of picture for the poor laborers who found their life miserable, unstable, insecure and cursed the threshing machines for all the wrongs that it had done to them by making them actually not required in the fields. This was the story of England. But 
next clipping I am going to talk about the story of US. As I said, I will be talking about three countries. So, I have spoken about England. Next country is US in the next clipping.